How are you doing? This is V Diamond in the Rough. How are you doing today? I uh, just come off night shift today. Uh, so today is uh, Monday. Um, yeah. Two days, three nights. And that's the one that people find is the hardest to do. I actually find the one that's three days, two nights the hardest to do. Um, so four days off now. So I've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday off and then back to work on Friday for three day shifts. Hmm. What can I do in four days? <laughs> uh, what do I need to do in four days? Hmm. Okay. So while I was on night shift, package arrived from Diamond Shop. That happens to be my Cairo custom, my Cairo camel custom. So that's arrived. It uh, arrived on Friday when I was on night shift and it has stayed in the craft room in its packaging. Well, most of its packaging. I removed the plastic wrapping around it. Um, but it's been in its packaging until I unbox it just a little while ago. So um, I've got to edit that, put it together. But you will see this video before you see the unboxing. The This is the diamond painting I've been waiting for to do the 1,000 subscriber give, giveaway. Um, now, what am I going to say here? This whip and chat is actually going to be the hint because what's going to happen is in, when I do my kitting up, I'm going to ask a question in my kitting up and the answer um, is actually comes from, well, it, well, the tell you the story here. I had, uh, in, in Cairo, I had an Egyptologist. His name was called Magad, M-A-G-E-D, Magad. Um, so what I was thinking, hmm, what I was thinking, so this is where I'm thinking, is when I do the kitting up, which is when I announce the actual competition itself, I'm going to ask a question and the question will be, what was my guide's name, my Egyptologist's name in Cairo, which is Magad. So for those of you that watch my short whip and chats, which is, um, you know, you guys are the ones that uh, that actually sit there and listen to me talk and blabber on and with the verbal diarrhea and you hear my stories about what's going on around me and um, as um, as Fee from Oz comment on my last my last short whip and chat was you know it's like sitting diamond painting listening to a friend um, and that's the way I I, I I like this to be um, because I do. I class you all as dear gems um, to have you, you know, join me on this lovely little journey and just sharing the crafts I do and what goes on in my weird life that happens to be weird every now and then. Um, next letter. Next letter. There we go. Um, so yeah, for the what I will say, the answer that I ask in the kidding up video to go in the draw for the competition is Megan. Um, yeah. Now I don't, when I do do the competition, it's actually not going to be announced as a competition and um, if you could turn around how do I put this? I want to try and make it not look like it's too much of a competition where um, you have with people that aren't even subscribers that are just looking at competitions, trying to win competitions because they're there, not because they're loyal subscribers or, you know, in my case, loyal gems. But, yeah, anyway, so the answer is Megan. When you 
actually when I ask the question in the kidding up video it will be the answer will be Megan the other thing I will ask is which custom you would like so the competition is going to actually be which who was my guide who is my Egyptologist and what custom do you like because with the competition the choice will be one of the four customs that I have with dementia and um, without saying what they are um, it will just be a case of which of the four customs would you like um, and yeah so this one which is the one that I just unboxed is Cairo Camel You've got the leopard, ta-da. Had to pause right there. So I had, had noise happen in the kitchen. Hey, <laughs> Nathan's coming in the kitchen. Um, yeah, so the, you'll have the choice of the leopard, which I'm doing here, the cheetah, or the lion, lion cub. So that will be the other question. We did two questions. Um, so yeah, hopefully, hopefully one of you guys that actually does watch the short whip and chats will be able to know that answer. Um, I won't even give any hints into Nathan's just put something in the oven now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Right again. Um, so yeah, the, the yeah, it'll be a choice of one of the four customs that I've got with Dye Moon Shop, and the answer will be Maggot M A G E D, and um, which one of the four customs that you would like? So this is where you guys get the opportunity to get ahead of everybody else. Where um, hopefully. You'll keep an eye out for the kidding up. Um, I've got a few things I need to get done before I can actually kit that one up. I've still got a long way to go with this one. Although I'm already at the point where I want to go, I'll put this aside so I can start on Cairo, but no. <laughs> Bit too eager on there. Um, I only just got a couple of short comments on, on my last short whip and chat, which was one was um, a fee from Oz, which has loved to diamond paint and listen, sight painting with a friend. And it's gone pretty steady, it's pretty stickers, pretty ironic to have a diversity inclusion meeting and leave out a whole category of employees. Yeah, definitely is. Um, it, it's, yeah, it still amazes me that they can, that they did it. But anyway, so. Day shift and night shift, two days, three nights. Went through pretty uneventful. I um, was training uh, someone else for that section of track, section of the Yak Rail line. Um, he shouldn't be too far from being qualified for that section. What that means then once he is qualified for the yard, I then go on and learn another section of uh, the network and I will be going to, I mean the yard is one of the busiest you, and the other is 6PG and 6PG is the other one that I'm going to go at, will be the one that I'll be learning next. Um, when I first started train control, being a rail controller, I um, I turned around and said I don't ever want to yard control. I did, didn't ever want to go into six PG. Didn't want to learn it. Uh, and now I'm actually going. Yes, I want to learn that one. So um, yeah, things change slowly. Change and as your confidence goes. Uh, but as a beginner, I didn't want to learn it. As starting off, no, I wasn't ready to. So hopefully, um, August, September at the latest, I will be on in training, which is going to be 
quite interesting. Quite interesting. Um, we also had our our supervisor was with us on her last night shift, so she's gone to join another team. She's going to be the supervisor of another team, um, drill and blast. So this is where um, interesting, interesting role, interesting thing that this these guys do. They actually from the city they drill the holes out on the mine site for the for the um, explosives to be um, put into. So yeah, they do all the drilling for the, um, the explosives to go into all the way from Perth up to um, up to site, 2,000 odd kilometres away. Which is pretty cool, pretty cool. I, was, um, I have had, spent a little bit of time down there a couple of years ago watching what they were doing and it's just yeah, it is amazing to watch. So, but she's going to go and supervise the team, which is really good. Good for her. We get a new supervisor, and we get a new supervisor that I don't know. He's not from BHP. He, he's coming from another company. So that's going to be interesting. Um, what's on the agenda? Okay, on the agenda coming up. I received a, I have my phone here, I have no idea where my phone is, okay, I was going to show you. I've received a, res, a serving board from my neighbour the other day and um, I'm going to be resining a serving board for her. So tomorrow I clear this desk right off. I put a heap of protective gear down so I can protect the resin already there. And um, I'll do a resin serving board and record the process. So that I have to do the first bit of resin. Uh, my starting point will be um, I put the resin down tomorrow. And then over the period of two days, it will be a uh, well, after 24 hours, it will be set enough that I can move it off my desk. But for the first eight hours, I won't even want to bump my desk. <laughs> so I will be doing the resin pour and then I won't be in the craft room for a, for a while. Mm. Good thing, bad thing, don't know. I don't know. Um, I think that's it for the J's. Oh, there's another J there. Right, so that's, uh, I've got that to do. Want some beautiful colours in there, so I'm yet to work out how I'm going to achieve it. But up for the ta uh, up for the task, well and truly. Um, but yeah, that means that when by the time it's, um, I, I'll have it all done and dusted before I go back on to a shift which means when I finish my next lot, my next block of shifts, it will be fully hardened and set and um, able to be given to our neighbour. Uh, they have uh, helped us out a couple of times. I mean, we've helped them, they've helped us. You know, it goes both ways with, with neighbours and it's really good to have. Um, but they did something for us that was a little bit above what you would expect and you would ask of your neighbour or, you know, even me, I wasn't, I didn't even want to ask them to if they could do something for us, but Nathan did, so, um, you know, she's, I sent her and said to her, just grab me a board and I'll resin a board for you. Um, she's like, oh, what do you want me to pay? I said, just, you resin the board, you've just saved us a heap just by what you've done. Um, so, you know, what what they saved us is nothing in comparison to, you know, the cost of what it's going to do to, to do the resin is nothing in comparison to what they did, the savings that they've given us for what they did. Um, nothing illegal, mine, nothing illegal, but um, still there was, you know, they, yeah. 
So always good to be great and uh, you know have been on good terms with your neighbours. So we we're lucky we, we moved in and we met all of our neighbours because we all moved in at the same time because we all built around the same time. And the elves. So it's you know you grow with the neighbours. We've now got um, we've got two young couples that have had bubs. By, both of them with the bubs. Actually, no, we've got three now. Three couples that have had bubs in the last four months. You know, you know, you, you know we're going to watch. We're going to be seeing these kids grow up here. Um, it's going to be cool. Um, what else is happening? Not much else. It's all pretty quiet. It's just all about trying to get this resin piece done. Um, I've done plan with me, I've done a budget plan with me, although I don't think it was quite right, but um, I have done set up my thinking funds now and I'm actually happy I've done it. It's really weird. You know, when I actually went and calculated it out and I thought that's a lot of money to take out, but it's like, well, in reality, <laughs> it's easier to get it out in little bits than all in one go when I actually do need it. So, yeah. Um, otherwise, I think that's about it. I don't think there's anything else going on. Everything's pretty quiet. Um, I think I'll leave that there and I'm just going to sit and finish this section tonight before I go to bed and I'll sit and watch YouTube and check out what everybody else is doing, what I've missed over the last few days. And... Uh, yeah. So you guys, comments. What do you think? Two things, well three things. So what do you think of um, the idea of the prize and having the competition this way? And um, do you have a preference? Do you, what, what do you think would be the most popular choice? That would be an interesting one. Who would choose? What would be the most popular choice for a diamond painting? out of all of my customs without seeing Cairo Camel. Hang on. I will pop it in here. Let's see if I can find the picture for it. Um, oops, that's a bit big. Hang on. <laughs> um, so the other custom get this right for you. There we go. So that is the custom that I have unboxed and that will be one of the choices. So in the comments what do you think? Which one would be the, will be the most popular choice out of all four customs that I have with Die Moon Shop? It'll be interesting to see. It'll be very interesting to see. Um, So yeah, we will. Um, I will leave that there. We'll say thank you for, for joining me on this little short weapon chat. Next video out will actually be the unboxing, um, which I think I'll put out on Wednesday. And, um, yeah, I'll <laughs> concentrate on where the next door goes. I will leave it there and say, Jen, thank you for watching. Uh, hit the subscribe button if you are new to my channel or you aren't subscribed to my channel. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, hit the bell to be notified so you know when I am uh, doing an upload. And I will say bye for now.